up, Jake King here. Um, I kind of forgot to do Game Theory Tuesday. So, in order to make up for that, I'm doing it today. So, I have to do it. Okay. Move my controls. There we go. Okay. Today, Game Theory Tuesday was brought up to me by, um... I forgot his name. <laughs> Oops. Well, if you brought this up to me, tell me in the comment section below. Because I am so sorry I forgot your name. Um. You want to know. Why is Pan from Dragon Ball Z? How is she able to fly out a baby? But she struggles at flying as a kid. Which really brought up some brief explanation. Um, why was she able to fly as a baby? Like, it was nothing but... That. As a kid, she kept wobbling and wobbling. And as a baby, she's... Tr it kind of seemed like she was stronger than she is as the kid in the end of the DBZ series. <laughs> And it makes you why why the f is pan team stronger and super than she did in well regular so i did some research and i mean yes at research and it got me wondering why? Why did they do that? I mean, everyone loves the cute pan today. Why did they change it? And, well, the thing is, after I was done doing the research and all that boring stuff, which I'm gonna just get over in like a minute. Um, basically, the research, it's been a minute, so that's. I'm done talking about research now. <laughs> and, well... What I came up was... With was... Pan... <laughs> adds a secret... Valve energy. Because her father... When he got the mystical power... Like Gohan, who had untempt rage, got the mystical power of a king god. Um, that's where things kind of felt a little weird. Um, you might be asking me why that felt weird to me. The reason it felt weird was because back is Pan. All the stories about Pan. In GT, the story was about Pan. And Super was like mainly about Vegeta. Focus more on Goku and Super. Unlike GT, they focus on Pan. Why do they focus on Pan and G? But in Super, they don't. Well, one thing is, it's not much focused on Vegeta. The main character is Pan. Basically, the daughter of the superhero of time, aka Gohan, is 
basically his daughter's now getting the attention. And since Gohan achieved the power of a god, you it gets you wondering. If Gohan lost all of his strength, where do you think it all went? Bingo! Pan. Thing is, she has enough power packed in her. If she got super worked up or angry, like, so sad to the point where, I don't know, say her dad died, her mom died, or something like that. And she gets worked up. Where do you think all Gohan's energy went? She, she could power up and be about five times stronger than Lord Beerus or Omega Shinron. And, well, that's what my wondering is. You're stronger in Lord Beers and Omega Shinron. Oops. But one thing that makes me wonder is why the f did they do a between series? And not a continuance. That's my question. I mean. They show. At the end of GT of that. But instead. Why didn't they continue. With Pan's grandchild. I mean. All of his inner, hidden energies. From Goku. He's a reincarnation of Goku, who is still alive, technically, but yet you can't see it. So, yeah, that's quite shocking. So, that's about really all it is for Pan. But, yeah. Um, thank you guys for another episode of... Game Theory Tuesday well, of Anime Theory Tuesday. Um, although it's most likely to be Thursday now. <laughs> Bad puns. Um, and I'll see you guys after I. I'll see you guys next time, and I'll end the video after I die.